Hello and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video we're going to be showing you how I take apart pallets and how I remove all the nails so that you are left with no nails in your board. Now this is good if you want to use them for firewood or you want to repurpose the boards and use them into something else. The first thing we'll need is a circular saw. Now I would highly recommend to buy a circular saw if you don't have one. Just buy a cheap one if it's just for a one time job. Just buy a corded one because corded is always cheaper than battery powered. The next tool we're going to need is a claw hammer. Now this will come in very handy to pull out the nails and shit. The next tool we'll need is a pair of bolt cutters. Now these are just a small pair you can get huge pairs. And I'll show you why we'll need them because it makes pulling out the nails just a little bit easier. The next tool is either a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver. Now these are completely optional because sometimes you might come across a pallet that has a nail embedded and you might have to hit it with a claw hammer to get the screwdriver under the nail to pull the nail up so you can pull it out with a claw hammer. And finally we are going to need a sledgehammer to knock out the rails which are the middle parts holding the boards together. And don't worry we'll demonstrate how I do it all so that you can get a full good idea of how we're going to take this shit apart. So I don't really care about these fin boards but if you want to go ahead and save them you can with the method I'm using. I really care about the thick boards, but I really don't care about these rails here because they got cutouts. Um, but usually they won't, they won't have cutouts, so they're worth saving. Everything on this palette is saveable, but it's just the parts that you want to save. Um, you can save them. If you don't want to save them, you don't have to save them if you don't want to. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is determine the side of the palette that has the least amount of boards. It's this side for this pallet. In this case, it has three boards. This side, this side has, I think, five or six boards. It has a bit more. So the least, the side with the least amount of boards is the one we're going to cut with the circular saw. Now I'm going to cut on the sides here and here. I'm not going to worry about the middle because we can pull that up with a claw hammer. And I'm going to do it uh, for all these boards. So there, there, and there. There, there, and there. Not the middles, excluding the middles. Um, another thing is, I'm not going to wear any safety shit because I feel that sort of hinders me personally. Um, I feel comfortable enough doing it with no safety shit. And um, if you guys don't feel comfortable, just do it with safety shit, okay? I am going to be wearing uh, fongs, or as you Americans may call them, flip-flops. Um, I just feel comfortable enough wearing them. Uh, if you want to do it with safety boots, you wear safety boots. Okay, so that's a little disclaimer. I got that out of the way. Are we all good? We're all good. All right, now I've got it on the floor here. So I'm going to get the circuit saw and cut across the sides. Now, I'm not marking them or anything. It doesn't have to be neat. It just has to be enough just to separate the boards from the sides. Alright, that's one side done, now for the other side. Alright, now that we've got them all cut, you can see there, there, and just there, and the same shit's on the other side. That's made the boards all loose, so we can get in there, because there is always going to be a gap that you can get. Uh, in with a claw hammer, so I'm just going to pull them out Sometimes it might be a little bit hard to get into the exact spot and Sometimes they may crack Sometimes they may need to be hit. Alright, 
just like that. Be, <laughs> be careful because there will always be nails. Now, another little tip here is if, if you are struggling to get the strength and the leverage to pull this board off, you can always hit the handle of the claw hammer with a bigger hammer. That's why this handle has damage here. Alright, that wasn't that hard, so all our boards are there. So, you might be asking yourself, what do I do with these end pieces that are left? What I usually like to do is get the hammer and smash them out. So like this. Just like that. Sometimes the nail won't come, sometimes it will. I threw that one with a bit of force. Just like that, the nails usually do come out. And you just go along repeating that. Like here for example, the nails didn't come out so I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, pull them out later but that's not too bad. Alright, after you've done all that you might have some nails protruding out so we're going to have to pull them out. But the good thing is also clean up the area so so I've got a bucket here and I'm just gonna put all the little bits of shit in it it just makes it a little bit safer so if you have a piece of wood with a nail sticking up you don't accidentally step on it and a nail goes through your foot now again like I've said we're just gonna have to pull these nails out if you don't have enough strength like this these nails are pretty easy actually if you don't, again, if you don't have enough strength, you can always get a, a sledgehammer or whatever the fuck and make sure your, your hammer's pretty tight and then hit the back of the handle with the sledgehammer. Alright, so now that all the nails are taken out, um, the next thing to do is to remove these rails. Now, this is how I do it. You might find on the internet that there are a bunch of other ways to do it. This is how I do it, this is what's been working for me so far. Now usually you'd put the pallet facing upwards so that you can smack the rails down um, against a, a wall or a, a table or some shit. I don't have that, I mean I've got shed walls here but I don't really want to be denting the walls if I accidentally miss hit. So I just leave it lying on the ground and I grab the sledge, the sledgehammer here and I just hit from the sides. So we'll show you how that gets done. Now this might seem a little bit, a little bit dubious to some people, but it gets the job done. I usually stand on it. Now you have to be really fucking careful when you're standing on it. Do not get your fucking feet, okay? Now it is normal for the pallet to move around. I do not hurt myself. You shouldn't hurt yourself either doing this. All right, now I just loosened two out of three rails. That's what I usually do. Now we can go ahead with the small claw hammer wherever the fuck I've put that and knock the rails loose. So just like this. Pretty much loose, it's just one board. Alright, there we go. Some nails might come through the rails, some might just stay in the boards, a lot of them have. Now, if you have any nails stuck in the rails like this, so I've got a few in, here, in this one down the end, just down there. All you have to do again is just pull them out with a claw hammer, should come out. Just like, just like that. And while we're here with these, we might as well knock out the third rail here as well.
Again, claw hammer it. Now this one's been a little bit tricky. Literally all my other boards fell off, just that one's been a bit of a tight bastard. Might be better just to claw it open. All right, so now that we have freed all the uh, boards and the rails and shit, there is these nails in these boards, and some of them are really fucking bent. Some of them are a little bit loose as well. I don't know if you can really see that. Now, it's always harder to hit a longer nail than it is a shorter nail, because some of them might fucking bend and fuck off. So what I do now is... With the bolt cutters, I'm going to cut the nails and maybe leave about a centimetre or two above these nails so that I can easily hit them out and it should leave enough clearance that it will come straight through the other side of the board here. Now, you can try and bend them out and, you know, hit them with a hammer to try and make, make them more straight, but that's just a waste of fucking time, so I'll leave about a centimetre or two. Cut the nail, same goes here, cut the nail, that one doesn't have a nail, same with these ones on this side here, cut the nail, and about there, so, I don't know, I've left maybe about an inch, so a bit more than a centimetre, again here, and here, just like that, I'm gonna go along all these boards and do them. All right, now all the boards uh, have shorter nails or are denailed. Some of them didn't even have nails in them. Now I'm just doing this over a ladder because I can't be asked bending it down and hurting the old back. So what I usually do is I just get them over an edge like this, hit them a few times and then hit them down. Just enough so that they're protruding out of the board, then I can just easily pull them out just like that. It doesn't take much force because they are a very short nail now. Just like that. Realistically, you should be doing this on a table or a bench with a clamp. I don't have that sort of shit. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't even have any clamps. So just like that. Usually they are very easy because they've already been pulled, pulled and shit. Just like that. And that is one board. Fully denailed, no nails there, none in the middle. And there was none in this side to begin with. So I'm just going to go along and do it all to these boards now. Also with these middle boards, don't forget the boards that we first cut. Um, and make sure you always remember to bolt cut the nails so that they're shorter, so easier pulling out. Just one final thing is that if you have screws or, I mean, nails like this that are sort of half embedded into the wood and you can't really get your claw hammer in there, you can go, oh, well, I can sort of pull that. Oh, hello. I can sort of pull these nails out with a claw hammer, but it's going to be a kind of a thing. So what you should do, what I do, I mean, especially that nail there. I mean, God, look at that. That's half in the wood. So what I do is I get a, a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, right there, right on the head of the nail. And I give it a few hits in with the, uh, with the claw hammer. Just like that. So just just like that. So that it's just in deep enough. And then I just pull now this wood's splitting, so it's not that good. And I just fucking pull the nail up, try and get it from all angles. Now this probably wasn't the best piece to demonstrate it on. But you see, I can sort of pull it up there. Just, uh, just enough. We just want it enough 
just so that we can get the hammer right here and pull it out just like that. Now with these nails, again, hammer them, pull them, my arm's probably in the way, just enough so we can get the fucking hammer in, pull that bastard straight, and then out, just like that. And same thing, this one's not too bad, but you might just want to get your screwdriver in there. Just, just to pull it straight. Now this one has a bit of a fucked up head. You have to be careful. But luckily that one came out. Now, unfortunately, if your nails have a, have no head, or they're a bit fucked off, I don't really have a remedy for that. Sometimes you can try and bend them on a 90 degree so that they look a bit like like this shape you can try and bend them a little bit and then get the hammer in there sideways so that you got a bit of a hook on area and then try and pull them out like that if that doesn't work you might just have to drill them out i'm sorry but i don't really have a remedy for that all right well that's a whole pallet de-boarded and de-nailed so, uh, some of the boards uh, we just can't save like them that's not because of me that's just how they came, but about 90% of it was salvageable. So from here, you can do whatever the fuck you please with it. Most of these will probably end up going on the fire pit, but some of these boards look very well, so I will save a couple of them and uh, do whatever the hell I want with them. So if you did find this video helpful or did like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and possibly consider subscribing. And until the next one, we'll catch you guys in the next video.